Shit mask. Shit, shit, shit mask. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ryan, and today I'm going to talk about some Medihill products that I'm not going to get again. Medihill has such a good brand image in Korea because I guess, first of all, um, BTS is endorsing them right now, and BTS also has kind of like positive also has kind of positive feeling in Korea so I guess that can be one of the reasons and second of all um their representative shin mask tea tree essential mask you guys might know this um yeah this is like a lot of people's go to shin mask so a lot of people consider Medihill as like go to shin mask brand but um the truth is there are some shin mask from Medihill that contain um fragrances and PG based ingredients which are not that good for our skin and also some of them are really just not goal oriented. So I know in my previous videos I like to talk about a lot of good things about skincare products but today's video is going to be my like first video talking about some downsides of skincare products. So the first one is this uh, med this bio capsuline mask and the one I have is this um soothing drum mask but there are three types of bio capsuline mask um the one that hydrates your skin and the one that brightens up your skin tone and the next one is this the one that you can soothe your skin with yeah but I gotta say this it's not like I hate this because um this one and this um two all kind of work so well for my skin but still I'm not going to get these three because um, the shin masks from Medihill like this T3 one and this NF one also work so well for my skin but they are like half the price of these capsuline masks so I really don't know why I need to pay double the price for these um, capsuline masks and the packaging is just too much you know it's disposable and do you guys really think that I should abandon this big plastic every time I use a shin mask like seriously I know a lot of people in Korea I mean in this world consider that if something has like fancier um, packaging then they deserve to be more expensive but also now is 2020 we can express our opinion by not purchasing things or purchasing things and I chose to not buy this again because I really really don't want to support the waste of plastics and also it's super big which means super travel unfriendly I can't imagine bringing some of this on a trip mm -mm, not gonna happen and the next is this um uh uh, placenta revital essential mask I don't know how to read this exactly but I really don't like to use this because a medial says that I can even out my wrinkles by using this shin mask and I believe that it can possibly work for your wrinkles because it contains some elastin and collagen based ingredients so the real reason why I don't like to use this is because it just dries out so fast um, usually I do shin mask like more than 15 minutes like around 15 minutes but it dries out in like 10 minutes after I just like open it and like unseal I don't know how to use the word like unseal uh, anyways so if I use this mask more than 10 minutes then it takes away the moisture on my skin back which is kind of like if you guys have watched my videos then you guys might know that I like to use some watery type of essence especially when it comes to shin masks but um, the essence in this shin mask is not like watery type of essence but more like just water type of essence I never felt it's hydrating and in a similar vein I really don't like to use this um, to uh, Vita light something shin mask yeah this this both never hydrate my skin so if I can get this tea tree mask or this NF mask then I really I really don't know why I need to buy this. Um, yeah, I bought this because I wanted to show you guys in the video, but I'm going to refund this in a few minutes. Yeah, definitely. My room so hot. Do you guys like this character more or this one more? This one calls Brown, and this is the Bear, and this one calls Ryan, 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 and this one is real Lion, Lion, Ryan. So getting back to the shin mask, the last one is this um Mogong Talks um Soda Bubble Shit. Yeah, mogong means pores in Korean. Medil says that I can clean the inside of pores by using this shin mask, but who cares if it takes my skin? And here's the thing, there are several ways to clean pores. I can use clay type mask or pillow type mask. And if I get this, then I might want this to be a little less irritating than um, pillow type mask. But it was super irritating. After using this shin mask, my skin became kind of like hell. And even though this shin mask didn't irritate my skin, I kind of don't get how it looks because um, usually I need to take care of the pores on like T-zone 
and around my nose parts but it doesn't fully cover the 100% of T-zone first of all and second of all I really don't need to care about um, these parts, this cheek part and chin parts with this shim mask because usually I can fully take care of the pores on these parts with BHA skincare products. And I believe that a lot of people focus on the pores of the T-zone and around nose parts. So that's kind of bizarre. And I looked at the ingredients list of the shim mask and I realized that fragrance is one of the top 15 ingredients of this shim mask. And you guys might know that I don't care about fragrance that much because usually, usually fragrance is one of the least contained ingredients. But this shim mask is containing fragrance as one of their top 15 um, ingredients. And the smell is kind of weird too. So I'm like, okay, Betty Hill, you can put fragrance in skincare products, but why it smells I'm not gonna get it again. So today, I talked about some products from Medihill that I'm not gonna get again, but if you really like these skincare products, then you really don't need to care about my opinion because I was talking things based on my experiences. So if you really like them, you can just keep it, I think. So that's all, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and click subscribe button, and annyeong!